Hey, I got a question for both of y'all. How old are you? 17. 17? 11. And 11, okay. Why is it that our young girls like their hair purple? Why is that? You think it's cute? Who taught you that it was cute? The world. The world, ah! First Corinthians 7 and 31. I want to show you. Does God think it's cute? Why not? Say what? Mm, you say your dad been teaching you, right? <clears throat> your dad is teaching you the correct things, but you have to listen to him. Watch what the Bible says. Come on. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 31. And they that use this world as not abusing it. So we're allowed to use the world for the things we need to use it for. I need to use the world to get a driver's license, to get a job, to pay the bills, right? But, read. For the fashion of this world passeth away. Who popularizes the purple hair, the pink hair, the red hair? Who, who, who does some of that? Name some people. They famous. What kind of celebrities? What, what are the names? Who? Sexy Red. I'm glad you said that. We're going to come back to that. Who else? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Who else? Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. All right. Are these godly women? Mmm. So should we follow after godly or evil women? Godly women, correct? Now, I'm love, I love that you said Sexy Red. She just came out with a lip gloss line recently. Have you heard about that? Have you heard about this? What are some of the names of her lip gloss? Say what? Crazy. They crazy name. Name me some. I don't know. You don't remember them? I'll name you some of the names of her lip gloss. Gonorrhea. You want something that named gonorrhea on your lips? What about, uh, she had one that say, sex on my period. That's what you want to put on your lips? Hey girl, I like the color of your lip gloss. What's that color? A color. You gonna say, this sex on my period. What? That's evil as hell, right? So that's why the Bible said the fashion of what? Oh, Thirty-one. The fa and they that use this world and not abuse it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. He said the fashion of this world passeth away. We shouldn't be doing after the fashions of this world because the world is evil. First John chapter two verse fifteen. When we come into this truth, when we come into the knowledge and the understanding of who we are as who, who are you? You are a, huh? You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Is that true for you as well? When you find out that you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, you can no longer do what the world is doing. God is calling us out of that evil, away from the purple hair, right? Away from the sexy reds, from the Nicki Minaj's, from the Cardi B's. All of these women are evil and they're not showing a good example to our young sisters. Come on. This is the book of 1 John, chapter two and verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Nothing about this world we should enjoy or like. I have a little daughter. You think I'm going to allow her to wear purple hair? What about uh, pants? You think I'm going to let her do that? Why? Because it's worldly. You're going to be known by the what you put on. We're going to get that next. Sirach 19. Why you got to go all of a sudden? Okay, okay. Listen as you leave because I want y'all to understand this is very important for our community, especially y'all as young girls, to learn and apply. Because if we don't, our communities are going to go down the same route that they've been for years. Are our communities in a good spot right now? Are they? So what's going to change? How is it going to change? We got to apply God's laws. I'm going to get, since you've been knowing about this truth, at least to some degree, I'm going to give you one scripture. Give me Sirach chapter 19 and verse 24. Give me that first. Come on. This is the book of Sirach chapter 19 and verse 24. He that has small understanding and fear God. So it's better for you to know just a little bit about this truth, that you're from the tribe of Judah. And then for you to apply the things that are written therein. That you should not lo no longer be wearing pants. That you should be wearing a skirt. That you should no longer have the purple in your hair. You should have that beautiful, black, woolly, bushy hair that's up under that. And wear that proudly. Read. He that have small understanding and fear God is better than one that have much wisdom and transgresses the law. So when you see people that have much wisdom and transgress the laws of God, God said he can't do nothing with those people. 
But those that have little understanding, you understand the basics, the fact that you all are from the tribe of Judah, and you start to apply what you know, the little that you know, because there are plenty of laws in the, in, in the Bible. There are plenty of things that you can apply right now. But guess what? All you know for the moment is that you're not supposed to have that purple in your hair. You're not supposed to be wearing the shorts. So in order for you to get grace from the Most High, you should apply what little you know already. Verse 29. Verse 29. A man may be known by his look. A man or a woman may be known by his look. When I look at Sexy Red, do I go, she might be a doctor. Where do I look at Sexy Red and think she might be? Depending on if she's in the middle of a street, on a street corner, I might think she's a prostitute. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Because that's how she dresses. If you see me in the middle of the street with a police uniform on and a badge and a gun on my hip, what are you going to think I am? You're going to think I'm a cop, right? I would fit the profile, the description of a cop. If you see me downtown near the courthouse in a suit, what you assume that I am? A judge, okay, or a lawyer, right? Now, if you see me, or excuse me, if you see a sister walking down the street half naked in some high heels in the downtown alley, what is she probably? A prostitute, just like you said, right? You should dress the part. What did God call y'all? He called you guys princesses of the most high. Do princesses, when you like, when you look at Disney movies, do princesses wear what we see sexy red and all of them wearing? What do they have on? They have dresses. You ever seen a princess in pants? Uh-oh. Now think about it. The best day of your life probably, it's gonna be in the future, not now. But in the future, what, what do you think the best day of your life is going to be? Your wedding day. Are you going to strut down the aisle in some pants, some jean pants, right? Or some suit pants? What you going to have on? You're going to be beautifully adorned in the dress. That's what the Most High commands us to do. Isaiah 52 and verse 1. All, of, all this Bible is about is how to get right with our God because we've never been taught that. In the Christian church, they aren't telling us to put on dresses. If you come in with... Your booty shaking, right, to the to the sound of the tambourine. They're going to love that thing with your breasts is out. Don't they allow that in the Christian church? I know I haven't seen that. And sometimes the little pony boys are in the background waiting to see who fall over so they can look up their dress when they kick their feet up. You see that? That's not according to God. And the Christian church is never going to teach against that. But guess what? The prophets of God are here now. Read. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 52 and verse 1. Awake, awake, be on thy strength, O Zion. You know what the strength of God is? It's the laws, statutes, and commandments. And it's easily able to be applied to your lives right now. Is it hard to put on a dress? Is it hard to not eat pork? Is it hard not to buy and sell on the Sabbath day? God is not requiring us to do anything that's difficult to do. Everything that he's asking us to do is reasonable for us. So why don't we do it? Because we're rebellious as hell. Black people are hard-headed. You done heard that from your mama or your daddy before, right? You hard-headed. Guess what? This Bible talks about that as well. This Bible tells us how hard-headed we've been for centuries. That we would not listen to the Most High God. But guess what? In these last days, we are getting the prophets of God back on this earth to come and teach these commandments so we can all get the kingdom of those who listen. Come on. Awake! Awake! Be on thy strength, O Zion! Be on thy beautiful garments! See that? God telling you to put on your beautiful garments. You think he means with the, the, the thongs? What, the, 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 the short shorts? The booty shorts? What is he talking about? For women, it's the dresses. But for men, he's talking about putting on pants, putting on your royal apparel, wearing fringes that men and women are supposed to be doing. Come on. Oh, Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come 
and to D, the uncircumcised and the unclean. See, and, and when we get the kingdom of heaven, nothing that's unclean or uncircumcised, meaning not in line with God, is going to come at us. We are going to do away with all that stuff. So you ain't going to see no purple hair in the kingdom. You know why? Because we were made in the image of God. And God made us according to his mind. How did he make us? With woolly black hair. Right? With nice, beautiful black and brown skin. Right? Give me Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 3 and verse 1. I'm going to give you this, and then I'm going to let y'all go. Okay? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, and I want to say it's verse 3. Verse, th I'm sorry, 13 and 3. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. 13 and 3. Hmm. Yep. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 3. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, look them to be God. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. This is the part I want y'all to get. It says, look how much better the Lord of them is. Our God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the God of the 12 tribes of Israel, which today we refer to as the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right? It says our God is better than all of everything that's created. Why? Because he created everything. Did he not? Come on. For the first author of beauty. The first author of what? The first author of beauty. Of beauty. So when God said, let us create man in our image, he created man to be what? Black. And with woolly hair. Right? With the eyes you got, with the noses y'all got, with the lips y'all got, everything. Everything that makes black people us in terms of our features, in terms of our spirit. God said what? The first what? For the first author of beauty. The first author of beauty. Your true beauty comes from your natural look. And it don't have to be flaunted around to everybody to see. It's for your husbands in the future. So for now, y'all should cover that up. Like for instance, if you give somebody a gift, is that gift supposed to be unwrapped before the time? No. That gift's supposed to be unwrapped at its proper time. Because if somebody, you, you, you got the gift in the car, and you driving there, and somebody in the car with you, they rip open the gift, you're going to be mad, ain't you? That's how God is when we, we have our sisters uncovering their bodies. Because those things that you should be covering up is precious to the Lord. Read it again. Okay. First author of beauty... For the first author of beauty have created them. He created you. And the way he created you is the way you're supposed to stay. That's why we're not supposed to get tattoos either. But see, I got, I got some tattoos, right? This is before I knew this truth. A lot of us out here have tattoos. Why? Because we did not have the knowledge of God before we learned this Bible. You understand? Come shut down. Come on. So with that... Listen, understand, and learn that you guys are the most precious thing on this earth, and you should be treating yourselves like it first and foremost so that others will treat you the same. You understand that? All right, come on. What is the nation? Yeah. 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 nation is men leading by example.